Hello and welcome back to the Midnight Moves channel. We have some more guides for Talus Principle 2. This one is for puzzles 1 through 8 and the lost puzzles in North to the Flooded Valley. So we're going to start out with puzzle number 1. It is called Absorption and we're going to learn about the Accumulator, a new thing, and we can use it to send a laser from it after we absorb that laser color from somewhere else. And you can absorb a laser from an old accumulator with a new one. So that's great news. And you can hold right click to discharge an already lit accumulator. So that solves the first puzzle by using those principles. And there you go. Slap your hand on the wheel of progress and continue your journey. Next up in North 2 is puzzle number 2. Uh, it has another accumulator. It's called Triptych. It has an RGB converter. So we can make green using blue and red, and then we can accumulate it for later use. It's pretty nice. So let's put it on this receiver right next to it. Works pretty well. And then we can use the red and the newly acquired green to make a new blue laser that won't get split by some other laser. And that solves the puzzle right quick. So that's the great news about that one. All right, number three is up next, and it is called Crossing. There's a few fans and an accumulator here. So the first thing you want to do is hop into the first fan grab this box and hop back into this other fan. There's a blue laser we have to accumulate and there's no direct sight line to it, but if your accumulator flies through the air on a box, connect that first of course, you'll easily get your blue laser powered up into the accumulator. All right, then you can head back and make sure everything makes its way back to the main room. And we're gonna jam this door, use your blue accumulator over here in a minute. Grab your box as well. Bring everything through, basically, as much as you can. Put the box on the button. Get your blue accumulator onto this blue receiver back there. There's so many angles, you can't do it any other way. Then you can take the jammer through, since it's being powered by the blue. Use the jammer on the little door to get the red laser. Grab your accumulator and discharge it, of course. Drop that on the ground with the red so it's connected. Switch your jammer focus to the big blue door. And then you can feed the red receiver real quick. And it'll be done puzzle number three. Okay, number four is up next, and it is called a wellspring. You can start by picking up this connector and connecting it to the blue emitter in the back. And make sure you put it down and seize this second window here. All right, go through the purple. Get your other connector attached to the blue connector, attach the blue receiver, and place that there. So angling those lasers be great news that frees your accumulator for the level. That'll be super helpful. You can place that down somewhere near the... Don't connect it to the blue. Uh, you can place that down somewhere near the purple door and you'll be good to go. Alright, get your original connector, place it on the red emitter, and you can send it over there. Just get the red into the accumulator is your main goal here. There you go. Okay, then you want to walk that almost back to where you got it, but not quite. You want to send it to that red receiver and then place it here or so, so you can still see through the window where this one connector is behind the purple door. Alright, connect that to your accumulator, and then place it about on the left side of this big window. Then you want to run back to your original connector, and you want to tap your red connector and tap this other red receiver, and make sure you got a wide angle so you can see both of them. There you go. And there you go. That's puzzle number Four. Slap your hand on the wheel of progress, and you're good to go. Number five is up next in the North 2 area. We're going to run in and grab our accumulator. You can place that on the blue laser here to grab the blue. Pick up your box and put it on this one button on the left side. Take your accumulator and put it on the second button, allowing us to take the box through. Uh, put that on the non-powered fan for now. Pick up your accumulator, grab the blue receiver at the end of the level, the blue receiver nearby, and put it on top of this box. That'll power the fan, and this other fan's also powered, so that keeps it aloft the whole time. I think that's pretty fun. Um, and it powers the receiver in the back, allowing us to walk through and touch the wheel of progress and end puzzle number five. Isn't that nice? Puzzle number six is up next in the Flooded Valley, and it's called Reconnaissance. This one has a few Fun steps. We're going to power our accumulator first by standing on this button, and then we can use the accumulator on the button and this to free an RGB converter. We're going to use that later so you can place it by this blue door in the back. 
come on through this purple door here and you'll see a regular connector so you can make a blue to blue connection while putting this on the button bringing that door down then we can grab a driller to use at the front of the puzzle so bring that all the way back here take your accumulator off use a driller make any hole over there really pick up your accumulator and discharge it and then drop it through the hole on this side we're going to pick up a green charge which is super nice then we can put it through the hole and bring it to the back of the puzzle we run back here put this on the left if you want to keep it out of harm's way grab your blue connector your green accumulator send it to the red with the converter and you're done puzzle number six there you go puzzle number seven is up next and it's aptly named rainbow so we're going to start with a red accumulator since red is in the middle of this uh, array of receivers we have to feed and then we'll go to blue using red and something else in a bit. Let's make green here, here, and here. We'll send it. We just use these two to make it. You can place it down anywhere. Really, almost. And that'll power every receiver. So number seven is pretty quick if you know what to do. There you go. Place your hand on the wheel of progress, and you know you're good to go. Good. All right, number eight. We'll wrap up the numbered puzzles here. It is called Remember. So we have an accumulator back here. We're going to power it with red using a connector. And then we're going to take the same connector and take the power from the accumulator. I mean, it stays, but you know, we're going to borrow it and send it to this red receiver back here. That opens that blue door and allows us to pick up this box. From there, we can place the box in this fan and send it over into that caged area. Then we can place the box on the other fan and the accumulator on top of the box. We can send it out. Isn't that nice? Now we can use the accumulator on this red receiver. It's pretty good. Now we can pick up the box also and put it back almost where we got it on this button that rotates this wall that way. And that red receiver here also powers the same blue door. So now we can use the original connector with the original laser to power that, enabling us to take our accumulator backwards through here. Then we also need the box, put it next to this tiny gate, Click the last red receiver, put your accumulator on the box, and there's puzzle number eight, and there you go. Okay, here is one of the lost puzzles of North 2. It is called Field of View. I don't think I do this one correctly, but I'll show you how to complete it, so there you go. There's an inverter here we never use, sorry about that. Um, anyway, as you saw, you start by using both the accumulators, one of each color in the front here. And then we can simply activate this first gate by attaching these two on the left. One of the accumulators can go up, which means you can take it and run it back here to connect to red, for example. And then you can just steal your same other accumulator and connect blue on the other side. So I'm not sure what the other tool is for there, the inverter, I don't know. So have your hand on the wheel and you're good to go from that lost puzzle. Okay, and this lost puzzle in the Flooded Valley is called Lateral Inhibition. It's a fun one, if you don't like having fun. Uh, connect your inverter to make a red charge. Give the red charge here to your accumulator and bring it around back. You can connect it to that inverter again. That would be helpful. Uh, right click this and then click the red receiver. Walk through here, the fan is not turned on, thank goodness. But then, you can pick this up so the red gets power. The fan turns on, but we don't have to worry about that. You can go through the door, place your accumulator, and then hit your hand on the wheel of progress, and you'll be done with that lost puzzle for good. And that's the end of this walkthrough. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. I would appreciate that greatly. Otherwise, that'll do it. So have a great day. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself, and goodbye.